Hey folks, this is Dweemer. You're watching Fading Interest, and I fixed my dropper tower problem. All right, what you see before you is the completed version. Now, back in the snapshots before 1.5, uh, droppers would activate if there was any constant signal put into them. That was changed in uh, snapshot 10, uh, week 10 um, uh, B. And now they have to receive an on-off in order to process, which made the dropper towers I had been using on all of my devices non-functional. Uh, now, however, I've developed a method that should result in the dropper towers working again. Obviously, it's not as vomitous fast as the other ones, but it is steady. And it also has the, um, the benefit of not being super noisy. Uh, you'll see that there's some blinking going on. I've got some uh, some pretty fast clocks on the back end uh, that I learned how to make from AC Tennis AC. And uh, I would think that once you're done uh, building it, all you have to do is really hide the parts you don't want to have obvious. And you're left with um, a decent um, a decent clock tower. So if I set that here and put it up, it goes all the way up the system and then spits it out. So everything that I've used uh, dropper towers before in the past should work fine now. And um, I'm going to show you how to make this. We'll start with the spine of the tower. And we'll put the dropper tower running right up the line to one sticking straight out. Now, any dropper that has an item in it sends a signal of one to a comparator that's touching it. This runs into a block next to it, which powers it, into redstone, into another comparator. And this is how I used to make them. Uh, this generates an always-on signal. Now we have to have an alternating signal or the, uh, the droppers are not going to fire. Therefore, we set the subtraction circuit on the comparator and now when we put a signal of one into the side of this it will subtract one from the circuit the power that's going through it which is one giving us a net of zero which will generate our on off this is a very basic clock that i learned from ac tennis ac uh, two hoppers facing each other passing a, uh, a piece of redstone or whatever back and forth forever uh, cutting off the circuit, making our, uh, making our hoppers work the way I want them to work. Now, I'm going to run this up both sides. Okay, now I need to apply the cutoff clocks for the entire thing. Okay, let's double check that everything is set properly. I'm seeing three cutoffs set there, two cutoffs on that side. I have five blinking circuits, and I have redstone on each tab. There we go, five pieces. Excellent. Now, when I come over to the front side and I put in a stack, it should send it right up the tower and out. There we go. Like I said, it's not super fast, but it is a functioning, working, working uh, dropper tower. Okay, I'm going to fix all of my other videos with this. It adds a little bit of extra uh, geometry onto the back of every one of them. Uh, so I'm going to have to go through and kind of modify the designs on all of the fancy doors that I have built before. Uh, but this fixes my dropper tower issue. Thanks for watching.